Welcome to the channel, my name's Ollie, and I love spearfishing, camping, and being on the ocean. In this episode, I head out to the famous Mokuhino Islands in New Zealand with Taku from Outdoor Chef Life. We're going spearfishing for the day, hunting for New Zealand's famous big yellowtail kingfish, and we encounter some crazy scenes underwater. Huge vast schools of fish in crystal clear water. We have some very scary intense run-ins with big sharks, all sorts of creatures, all sorts of fish. Have a cook up in paradise. This is an episode not to miss. Stick around for the action and good times. G'day guys, Ollie here. Welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel. I'm out today with Taku from Outdoor Chef Life. He's got a YouTube channel as well. I'll leave a link down below. He does um, awesome cook-ups, much better than me. So I'm out with Taku and uh, no real plan of attack. We're at the Mokuhino Islands. Amazing glass off condition so far. Water's blue. So yeah, we'll just see what we can find. Kingies, anything. Catch feed, spear it, cook it up and um, it looks like it's going to be a wicked day. I'll leave a link to his channel below and uh, yeah, we'll get into it. It's so clear. Mostly Trevelli, eh? Here it is. Yeah. After chasing the schools of bait around on the surface, Taku throwing his stick bait in a few times with no luck, and me, pumped, excited, too excited to jump in, I quickly geared up and threw myself overboard. Once underwater, I was greeted with insane conditions, clean blue water, and thousands of fish. Trevelli, Kahawai, Koheru, all the usual suspects, which meant the yellowtail kingfish wouldn't be too far away. I'm sinking down here, trying to get to around that 10 meter mark, usually where the kingfish like to hang, using their dark green backs to their advantage, hiding in the generally darker, gloomier water below. Rattling my flopper on my spear, trying to entice these very inquisitive fish. I managed to drift over a lone pin emerging from the depths which is holding all sorts of fish above and around it. It's looking very promising. I've only been in the water a couple of minutes and then suddenly I see down below the famous sight. A very welcome sight, some large kingfish coming out of the depths, ready to hunt on their morning run. As I dive down, my mask is very foggy and I'm struggling to gauge the size of these fish. I'm not sure if they're suitable size and hesitate a little bit too long, heart racing. I make my way back to the surface for a gulp of fresh oxygen. I know I don't have much time to rearrange and defog my mask, so have a quick breathe up and dive straight back down onto the fish before they disappear into the depths. While breathing up on the surface for only a short period of time, I've lost sight of the kingfish as they disappear into the gloom below. I know there's still a chance they're hanging close by, so down I dive, sinking down beneath the bait schools. Hopefully I can lure them in close enough. And there they are, just out to the side, milling around, curious enough, and I slowly sift towards them. Mask is still very fogged up, but this fish looks sizable, looks good, and I stretch out for the shot. I've placed a very solid holding shot, just behind the pectoral fin, on the upper half in the green, an excellent spot for the shaft to enter and hold on to some solid flesh. Fish on. 
It's a good shot but the fish isn't hurt that well and you can see it start to charge, kick into life, its big tail wagging back and forth. This fish has plenty of life left in it and it charges down into the depths, aiming for the reef below where the fish knows it has a chance of busting me off. The fish peels line off my spear gun reel, barreling into the depths and after a good solid five minute fight I finally managed to gain some line and slowly bring the fish to the surface. Just as I'm getting the fish close, it screams off again as it sees me. It charges again and again, but slowly and surely I work the fish to the surface. And it's a nice fish. I'll just catch him in the water and then I'll jump back on. Alright, third fish of the day. Whew. Not a huge kingy, but respectable. Shot him a bit low, so he was. Oh, full of power. It was actually quite a good fight, so. <coughs> Woo! Coffee's working through the system. Heart go get on board and uh, get this beautiful fish and ice. There's lunch sorted. Yeah, <laughs> sweet. Jump over if you want. Yeah, I can grab I thought he was a bit smaller. No, that's pretty good. He's, He's all good, eh? Man. I couldn't see him and my whole mask was fogged up, so I was like, is that big, small? I think he looks all right. <laughs> well, that's good. That's, I'm content and now I can be flashy man for the day. Are you kind of down deeper or? Oh, nah, probably like, yeah, five to 10, maybe 10 meters. Oh, okay. We're well, coming up to five. So yeah. I saw the, the kuhiru, the yeah. bait fish. They yeah. all lit up yellow. And I was like, oh yeah, they're, they're here. Mm. And then, Five cents later. Yeah. There weren't heaps, maybe ten. Oh, okay. But um, there'll be multiple stores in there. Yeah. Last time there was literally hundreds. Yeah, hey, that's sweet. That's bigger than any kingfish I've caught. All right, guys. Well, couldn't resist. Jumped into these bait schools on the surface. We saw them getting smashed up at the start, so we knew there were, there were some kingies in there. And uh, this is just the most bluest water you've seen that footage of, of dope for like years. It's just incredible. So yeah, diving through the Trevelli schools and then I saw the famous sign of the Kahiru bait fish all lit up yellow. I was like, yep, the king is here somewhere. Signal of danger and five seconds later, um, school of kingies came in, maybe 10. And um, this one looked to be one of the biggest, might have been one bigger. He's not a huge fish, but um, yeah, he's quite long. I'm happy he is. Um, <laughs> couldn't really see my whole mask was fogged up and uh, yeah I thought he might have been smaller once I speared him I just got him um, basically right mid body there luckily just on that green side that's the the top half you want to spear nice firm solid flesh for a holding shot anywhere down there on the belly is gonna rip out the strong fish like this and um, yeah, he took off into the depths but yeah happy as <laughs> first fish of the day so nice fish man we'll get him on ice and um we'll get back to these schools and see if taku can get one on the popper um i've never seen one caught on a popper so it seems exciting to me all right happy days <laughs> impressive that was done in five minutes <laughs> <laughs> all right let's ice him up Oh, well guys, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, <laughs> that, was, that all happened very quick, but that often is the case in the morning. I really like to shoot kingfish first light. I find they tend to hold up closer to the surface. 
Um, basically with all fish, snapper and reef species, they like to go deeper once it gets too sunny and warm. But yeah, good result, happy as. Beautiful sunrise, calm seas, king in the bag. Um, I'm, I'm content, I'm content. So it's gonna be a good day here. Let's see if we can get uh, Taku onto a king. I'm sure, I'm sure we'll find some opportunities. Just magic scenes. Ready, bro? Ready. <laughs> All right. So that bait school's still hanging around up there. All right, Taku's time to jump in. Hopefully the kingies are still there, um, but it's not the end of the world if they aren't because it's just absolutely incredible scenes, diving in such blue water and big schools of trevally and, and all sorts, it's magic. So I'm just gonna try and locate the bait schools again and um, throw him overboard. <laughs> He'll throw himself over. Straight in front, man. Cool. All right, we're right on the bait school, right in front. Taku's in. Out that way, man. So yeah, it'd be pretty cool if he can get his first kingfish on the spear. It's always a cool moment for anyone. It's such a uh, tough fighting fish and yeah, never gets old for me. Love whacking kingies. Looking very good, heaps of and let's go, let's do it. Without any more luck on the kingfish at the first spot, we decide to cruise down the coast in the new Senator 500, jumping in at another reef which was absolutely teeming with big trevally and all sorts. As soon as we jumped in and saw this, I knew we were in for some action. Taku Taku! King's King! I've spotted two kingfish below, there may be more I'm unsure, but only one problem, Taku has only just joined me in the water and he doesn't even have his gun loaded. I chuck my throw flasher over towards the kingfish in front of Taku, hoping to keep the fish entertained and bring them into range for Taku to dive and spear one. I sink down to meet my flasher. And there's more than two. There's a whole school of big kingies. They are good sized fish. Taku's struggling to load a spear gun. Afterwards finding out that the shooting line was wrapped over the rubbers. No chance of him loading it. I sink down, trying to hold these fish, keep their attention. They're loving the flasher. They are fat fish. Very nice kingies. And there are a lot of them. I 
I look up, Taku's still struggling with the gun. It's all a bit overwhelming, lots of adrenaline pumping. So I go to investigate. Dive! Don't, don't. Yeah, use this one. Yeah. <laughs> nice kingfish, man. Finally, with a loaded spear gun, Taku is able to dive down on these fish and he doesn't muck around. Diving down straight away, he sinks down towards the school of kingfish, which are luckily still hanging around. He lines up a big fat one and pulls the trigger. At the same time though, the fish darts to the right and the shaft skims past the fish. Unlucky. You just keep, I'll load this one. Use that to keep them here. I frantically load the second spear gun, looking around, but the kingfish, they're gone. Bugger. It's all right. They're a nice fish. That big. Amazing, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Overwhelming, eh? They were big fish, man, like 20 kgs. Completely. <laughs> oh, we'll see some more. <laughs> we stayed persistent. Swimming back to the boat, I retrieved another flasher. Trying all the tricks in the book. Trying to lure the kingfish back in. Taku here. Just hovering above a reef. Plenty of fish around. I shoot a koheru. Let that buzz around on the end of my spear. Another good trick to bringing kingfish or sharks. And that happened. Swimming down, a nice bronze whaler had come in to check out the action. Just in a placid state, cruising along. Cool to see. Big school of Kahawai here. We give up on the kingfish and I sink down onto the reef here, looking for a snapper behind these ledges. Encountering this injured trevally looks like it's been bitten by a kingi or a shark. I'm waiting for a good opportunity to take a shot, put the fish out of its misery, but it just gets away. Back down on the reef, popping and crackling with noise full of life. Demisales surround me. Nice barrier, hopefully something comes out of the gloom below to investigate. No snapper, no kingies, but this big ray comes in for a look. And with its tail and barb showing, it was a bit hairy, too close for comfort. Another big ray here, this one a bit more placid. Beautiful creatures just hovering in the current. And that was it. Time to move spots. Well, it was pretty fishy scenes. We just moved on to another spot and, um, geez, I don't know, two minutes after I got in, you know, there was this big schools of Trevally and Kahawai and and came the Kahiru, all the all the usuals, and then in came a big school of kingies. They were fat fish, bigger than the one I just shot, probably probably around 18 kilos. And um, oh, <laughs> man. Taku's gun, the shooting line was um, just not quite. Yeah, it was, it was tangled. It just couldn't get the rubbers loaded. It was um, all a bit stressful, and as you can imagine, full of adrenaline. Finally, I gave him uh, my gun, and then they were becoming quite wary and uh, just started to take off. But um, yeah, shot didn't quite make it, but um, it's all good. It was it was amazing to see the scenes like that. It always is so. Yeah, man, that was pretty <laughs> awesome, dude. Yeah, that, that was a nice, nice fish in that school. I had, I had a fish on. I had a um, I had a, a shot on it. I should have hit it. I completely missed. I just. It was just a mess. <laughs> yeah, it was a mess. But um, <laughs> now we're just going to um, have a bit of a break. I'm not sure what our plan is. Um, we might move spots. We've kind of done our dash here. I think all the fish kind of have moved deeper. And it's getting pretty murky with the change of tide. So we might have a quick dive in the shallows. We might try another spot for kingy. Might do some stick batting. Whatever we want to do. It's just a stunning day. So yeah, we'll move on. Well, we've moved spots and once again, we've found huge schools of bait. 
Trevelli and Kahawai etc on the surface out here I'll get the drone up soon and try and get some aerial footage it's a vast area of bait Un unreal looks to be getting smacked by something see big splashes every now and again usually good sign usually that means a kingy or something is underneath the water's still a bit murkier around here not as clean as this morning but it's clean enough Taku's gearing up and we will have another crack at a kingy if not there's plenty of other species to attack then we'll go have a cook up. Hungry ass. Taku had only been in the water a couple of minutes and at the same time I had the drone up I could see he was nearing a huge school of fish in front of him. It's a vast school of fish, Kahawai, Trevelli, all the same usual suspects on the surface, down below, this is looking very promising for a kingfish. It's incredible scenes. Hundreds, thousands of fish congregating in this one area. And here's Taku's cam. He spotted some kingfish below. Not a couple, a lot. There are kingfish everywhere, filling up the water column. He's doing a good job rattling his gun, keeping them close, keeping them interested, and then takes an awesome shot into this fish. He doesn't waste time ripping it up to the surface, knowing there could be sharks nearby, and the fish is going ballistic. Thrashing around on the surface, but Taku's done a good job to subdue it. Until these bronze whalers come barreling up from underneath, and they are worked up. They can sense stress, they can smell blood, and they are not mucking around. Coming right up to him onto the surface. Taku's first experience with bronze whalers, first experience shooting a kingfish, and it is overwhelming as you can imagine. He thinks they're gonna bite his arm off, so it gives him and the fish a few meters, and there are sharks everywhere. Circling him, his heart's racing, it's all on. While I have the drone up, I'm actually yelling out to Taku to grab the fish. He needs to keep hold of that fish and swim for the boat. Generally, once that fish is in your arms, they'll come in for a look, but then they'll leave you alone. It's a bad habit to give up an easy feed to the sharks, but with Taku new to this experience, and sharks still being a wild animal, unpredictable, it's better losing a fish than getting your arm bitten off. To save you commenting below how I should have been in the water with him, Sure, buddy diving's great and I'd been in with them all day. This all happened in a matter of one to two minutes. There was no chance of me gearing up, jumping in the water to join him. Either one, the sharks would have ripped his catch out and got away, or two, the fight would have finished and in this case, that's exactly what happened. I saw. <laughs> oh. Bro. Epic! Bro. First king on the spear! Nice! Oh my god, dude! Okay, I've oh. got that. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty scary, bro, with freaking three sharks coming at me. Mate, I was watching from the drone. Yeah. It's uh, unreal. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was watching. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
I better go get the drone in. <laughs> oh, all right, guys. Oh, yeah. <gasps> got him. <laughs> we got him. Oh. Redemption time. <laughs> yeah, definitely. How's that? <laughs> Jeez, that's all good, man. Nice fish. Yeah, nice fish. First kingy on the spear. First kingy on the spear. Wicked man. That was an experience, man. <laughs> <laughs> what an adrenaline rush. <laughs> Nice stuff, two beautiful kingies. Look at that. Get some more in the stomach there. It's really cooled down. Look after that fish. Is that salted ice? Mm. Yep, regular. salt ice. <laughs> and, um, man, if you guys are looking after it, looking for a soft bag, check out these new Rob Allen cooler bags. They're really good. Pretty sweet. <laughs> All right, what a day, two kingies on board. Wash that blood off. There's a few pink mau mau around this area. Uh, one of my favorite eating fish. I don't think Taku's tried them, so I might jump in quickly, see if I can peg one or two, and then we're gonna go find a nice spot to perch up for lunch and um, get feasting. I haven't eaten today. I'm not sure if Taku has either. We had a few lollies, so we're starving ass. Beautiful colours, eh? Guys, anchored up. Got uh, my flash little <laughs> umbrella. Nice. <laughs> but it's uh, okay. it's quite cute. You could say it works, anyways. Providing a bit of shelter, open boats. It's the only issue um, these have. Otherwise, a wicked boat. Slowly getting used to the setup. So I've got the kitchen here. I've got chopping board, chopping board, chopping board, cob grill. If you haven't seen one of these, they're wicked. Um, I just use it basically everywhere I go. Even a couple of knots a week at home cooking. And we might start with some sashimi. Got heaps of ingredients, heaps of condiments, all sorts. So we'll whip up a snack and then maybe fry some fish up. Pink Mau Mau, Taku, he can try some Pink Mau Mau and yeah, maybe some burgers or whatever. So we'll get into it. We so should have shot a Trevally Taku. Oh, yeah. <laughs> This place is incredible. Alright guys, I've got a plan. I've got some coconut food. I want some 
All right, Tucky's going to whip up the uh, entree, sashimi, kingfish, some sort of dish with wasabi, coconut milk. It's going to be tasty, so he's getting into it there, preparing, and I will do come to pink mama burgers. Going to be good. How's the colours on these fish? Just absolutely stunning. Not sure if it's a subspecies or just a male, female, or what, or age, but some of them get very, very dark purple colouring. Um, yeah. Anyways, tasty. No, 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 <laughs> just a small chunk, man. We're not that hungry, no. <laughs> We are that hungry, but... Coriander, eh, Tucky? Yeah. Okay, we've got some fresh chopped spring onion, red onion, capsicum, and coriander, and I'm gonna mix all that together with some tartar sauce, pre made, and um, whack it on some fresh white death buns and some cheese, and I reckon that's gonna be pretty, pretty tasty. The Mokahi now is such a magic location. Sheer vertical cliffs, crystal clear water, teeming with ocean sea life around it, deep water, far away from the crowds, just a magical place to unwind and in our case, anchor up and cook a feed of freshly caught seafood. Very hard to believe we were the only ones anchored up in this wicked lagoon but we definitely weren't complaining and carried on preparing our seafood feast. So I often get a lot of questions um, about this grill I'm using my cook-ups in my videos. The Cobb grill just takes a little butane canister that just screws in got a charcoal version as well which you might have seen but um, the gas version goes well on the boat and the good thing about them there's no heat that comes off underneath the way they're built so they're safe to use on painted surfaces um, basically anything yeah great for boats different plates you can use so I've just got the classic frying pan plate here and yeah just a little flame pops up under there and because it's so compact the heat in there just is insane cooks in really fast so great addition to have out on the boat and you'll see soon how uh, amazing they are cooking up anything really Taku's Ooh. just whipped up the most incredible I know. sashimi I'll just get in the light here yeah and the Tupperware livery flash coconut cream wasabi and even nuts. some nuts and 
everything else that we kind of had there chopped up it's um it's stunning so yeah coconut and wasabi winner well takus sashimi was mean coconut cream and wasabi i guess it's like doing wasabi mayo kind of that milky you know creaminess mixed with the spice and it's um it's a winner so yeah he wasn't shy on the wasabi it's um got a, got a bit of kick to it but um i'm happy i like a bit of spice so yeah we'll get the cob going yep she's away we'll get this nice and hot we have the crumb pink mau mau ready to go you know me gonna get some more butter in there oh that's a bit too hot but it's a little bit burnt she'll be all right all right pink mau mau coming up oh here we go we got the pink mau mau's cooking <laughs> Okay guys, Pink Mama is looking pretty close. We should just better break that apart once they're done. So it's very, very close. Pretty much done actually. Yeah, it looks good to me. We don't want to overcook it. It's pretty good. Might have to do a, a bit of a taste just on the corner. Mmm, beautiful. Okay, where's your chops it? Have, it? have a taste before we oh, yeah. smother it in all the other ingredients. Oh, yeah, I know it's got yeah. crumb, but it's um, next best thing to just by itself. Ooh. Quite soft, eh? Whoa. Sweet mm -hmm. and soft. This is very sweet. Very sweet. Ollie's filet fish McDonald's burger. Load them up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. So nice. A little tartar. Nice. And of course a bit of coriander. Load it up. A bit wilted in the sun, but she's gonna taste good. Just a touch of salt, let's finish. good I'm gonna demolish it and then uh, might be back in the water but um, yeah easy recipes guys and fresh Ooh. can't go wrong oh this mau mau <laughs> so soft Taku seems Flaky. happy oh so good doesn't seem like a liar either so uh, <laughs> I think it's an honest honest review <laughs> all right cheers guys Thanks for tuning in everyone, I hope you liked that episode. Feel free to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you want to see more content and be sure to check out Outdoor Chef Life for some wicked content, wicked cookups, primalpursuit.co.nz for merch and to support the channel, links below. Safe diving out there, watch out for those sharks and I'll see you on the next episode. Cheers.